So guys, my cheese is just hanging around, bouncing, waiting for me to open her up and spread that jalapeno cheesy goodness on a cracker. So stick around and I'll open this baby up. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm out here today in the rainy forest because it's really started to pour down. Uh, I had to make a little camp to get out of the rain. Uh, I brought along my, uh, my son, my apprentice baking boy today and we're going to show you how to uh, make cheese in the forest. Actually this goes back quite a long way. Uh, way, back when, way back when I started my channel I received a question, can you make cheese in the forest to go along with uh, well, bannock and uh, maybe as a dessert? Uh, I certainly can, so I thought I'd show you the recipe. It's really quite simple, quite easy. All you need is a few ingredients. Uh, so first let me show you the camp and then I'll start uh, with showing you what you need to make forest cheese. So let me show you guys Camp Rock, uh, named so because of the very large rock uh, in the middle. Here's our little camp that we had to build because we had to get out of the rain. Say hi baking boy. And this is where we'll, uh, we'll end up doing the recipe. Guys, let me show you what you'll need to make your forest cheese. Uh, first thing you'll need is some milk. Uh, you can use uh, whatever milk has a, a, a quite a large quantity of fat in it. Uh, so you need full milk. Uh, you'll need something to bring the milk almost to a boil. Uh, today I brought along my East German cooking kit, which is really one of my favorite cooking kits uh, in the whole world. Uh, you'll need a cheesecloth or something similar, a little white wine vinegar and whatever herbs or spices you uh, like in your cheese. Uh, myself, I'm a sucker for a red pepper in my cheese, uh, so I brought, brought along our pepper. Uh, also I brought along some rosemary and some thyme to give the cheese a little bit more flavor. So this is all you need. Let me set up my cooking kit and we'll get to cutting and making the cheese. Alright, let's put some alcohol in the gnome stove made by Minibull. It's an awesome little stove. It's the, the alcohol stove I use the most in the forest. All right, you just add your milk to whatever container you're using to bring it to a slow, almost boil. There we go. As you can see, the gnome stove is burning away. And what we're looking for is really not a boil, not a, certainly not a rolling boil, but just a gentle uh, bubbling of the milk. You know that phase uh, milk gets uh, just before it, uh, it starts to boil, it gets a little bit foamy. That's what we're looking for. So guys, I'm making the red, I'm cutting the red bell pepper into uh, as small a pieces as I uh, like for this recipe. Basically, it'll give some uh, spice to the cheese and also a little bit of color variation. So now for the rosemary and the thyme. What I like to do is just make a rough cut, a rough peel of the rosemary and the thyme, and include it with the herbs. I can hear the milk starting to come to a boil, or at least approaching a boil. So soon there will be a good time to uh, take it off. All right, the milk is uh, starting to approach that foamy stage, so it's time to put in the white wine vinegar. Uh, baking boy, you can put in the vinegar now. Watch your hands. Yeah, dump it all in. There we go. And now all you need is a gentle stir and remove the milk from the heat source and just put it away for a while with the lid on. Just make sure you stir it a little bit and you see you can see the curdling starting to happen and that's exactly what we're looking for. 
just put the lid back on and we wait for about five minutes. Well, the cheese has uh, curdled, uh, has curdled, or well, the milk has curdled into cheese. So now it's time to uh, put in the herbs and the spices because we need the residual heat uh, to uh, get the flavor out of the herbs and the spices. So let me grab my spoon and uh, slowly dump the herbs and the spices, the rosemary, the thyme and the red pepper into the milk. Give that a gentle stir. Let it mix with the curdled milk and to release the flavors. Now put the lid back on and let that sit for just a few more minutes. All right, so you basically drape your cheesecloth over a container and then you pour the curdled milk slowly inside the cheesecloth, bit by bit, because you need the room to dump the excess uh, whey water. Now you just fold it in and we'll dump some of the whey water. You know, don't need to dump everything because you need some for softening up your cheese if it's too hard or too dry. So that's a little bit removed and now we have room to dump in more of the curdled cheese. There we go. And now we take the cheesecloth, strain it together. There we go. So I've squeezed the cheese into a small bowl. Uh, there's still a little bit of fluid in it, but uh, not enough uh, to really squeeze it out. So I'm going to hang this from a branch and then uh, let it sit for a while. What I usually do is uh, I'll let it uh, sit for a half an hour or to an hour, uh, so a little bit of the excess fluid can uh, seep out. And then you have your cheese. And uh, I can already smell and uh, I, I touched my uh, mouth uh, a few seconds ago and uh, <laughs> there's definitely some uh, heat in the cheese. So I'm going to hang this, uh, give it a rest for a while and then uh, prepare to, uh, to eat it. Eat the cheese and cut the cheese. Now you take your forest cheese and you spread it on a cracker or bannock or whatever you uh, you brought along. I like it uh, as a great way to eat those dry ration crackers. There we go. A nice cracker with your own forest made cheese. And let me tell you the smell coming off this cheese is incredible. Well, there you go, guys. Some nice forest made cheese with red peppers and rosemary and thyme. A lovely way to liven up a uh, dry army ration cracker. Or maybe give your bannock uh, a little kick. Or if you're in the mood for a dessert, you just put in some honey, some fresh fruit maybe, and you'll be all set to go. Well, Baking Boy and I, we're going to uh, head back home. So enjoy. Hope you enjoy the recipe. And happy baking. See you guys next time. Let me tell you, this forest cheese is excellent. Mmm. Really good.